Hello everyone, Tim here with this month's Technology Tips with Tim. Uh, it's hard to believe it's March and hopefully everyone's spring started off well after we got through our snow there last week. Let's go ahead and hop into our uh, resources for this session. Uh, first tool I want to talk about is uh, Edpuzzle and I've, I've been to a couple of schools and done a little bit of PD on this tool. But uh, Edpuzzle is a great tool. What it enables you to do is take video content and I've actually logged into my account uh, via Google here, so you gotta take a quick look. Uh, it is free, you can log in via your Google account. Uh, and Edpuzzle allows you to pull in video content. You'll see the resources over here on the left that you can pull from, or you can upload your own video by using the button up here in the upper right. And what's nice is it allows you to upload a, a video. I'll go to my content here as an example. And this is a little example I did for the PD I was doing. And what it allows you to do is to upload a video and you can interject audio notes as well as questions and comments as students are watching the video. So instead of being just passive, they're actually engaged. You can uh, interject uh, multiple choice questions and uh, it will if you create classes, as you can see in the side button up here, you can assign to students so it will automatically check your multiple choice questions. You can also do open-ended. Of course, you have to grade those yourselves. Uh, and then uh, also you can just put in just comments uh, if you want to just uh, maybe put a comment in there like, hey, you know, this part of the video is coming up, watch carefully, uh, et cetera. So it's it's really nice way, again, to take video to a, to a nice new level. Um, what's uh, they just released, I just got an email actually this morning, is they now have an extension for Edpuzzle that goes right and ties into YouTube. So if I go to now YouTube after I add that extension, it will add a little button here that says edit with Edpuzzle. So if you're on YouTube looking for content for your class, if you find one, instead of having to go to Edpuzzle and then search for it there or paste the URL in, what you can do is just go ahead and click right here. This one about uh, project-based learning. If I click, it will take me right into my account and right into edit mode. Okay, where I can start playing the video. Okay, and again, I can pause it. What I can do is I can actually crop the video. And it allows me to do that at the beginning or the end. This is where I can actually record my voice over the entire video if I want to add my own com comments and, and, and replace the audio that's there. This is where I can add audio notes anywhere I want to in the video just by dragging the slider. And then the last option is, is where I can actually add questions anywhere I want to just by clicking here. I can select what kind of question I want. So neat tool, but uh, again, I really like they just add this extension that if I'm out browsing and YouTube or any other video sources that I shared with you uh, originally, uh, you can actually uh, just click on that and take you right into Edpuzzle. All right, the next uh, application I really want to share with you is Google Keep. Uh, Keep is a note-taking application Google's had for quite a while, but they've really put a lot of time and effort into trying to ramp this up a little bit. To, I think people use it more. I currently have it on my phone, and that's what I use to put in to-do lists, um, shopping lists. And maybe I see something I want to take a picture of, and I want to uh, use it in a Google document later. Um, but what's nice is they've really taken this to a, a new level. This is actually Google Keep here uh, on my computer via the web. You can get there by keep.google.com. Uh, and so whatever I put on my phone, it will show up here. And if I add a note here, obviously it will sync up with my phone as well, just like all Google applications. But they have added Google Keep as a core app now in Google Docs. Uh, when I come in uh, originally, it will ask if you want to add a shortcut of Keep to your other applications. I've already done that, so you actually see the shortcut here for Keep that can take me right to this site. But notice right here, I can just go ahead and click here and I can actually just add a note. Uh, and uh, I can you know, have different options down here. I can actually collaborate with someone on notes. I can add images, archive them. I have different kinds of options here. I also have, I can just draw uh, freehand if I want to as well. But what they've done uh, with this application is they actually integrated it with now Google Documents. So I'm here in a Google Document, and if I go up to Tools, I have an option now about Keep Notepad. So if I click on that, it actually brings all the notes that I've taken right here and puts it in my right-hand side panel. 
So if I have some notes over here and I want to pull it in, okay, all I need to do is just click and just drag, and it'll drag the note right into my Google document. So that's kind of neat. And what's nice also, I'm just from exploring this a little bit, uh, anytime you take a picture via Google Keep, uh, it will actually try to translate any words that may be uh, in that image. So, for example, you see like a poster or some kind of saying on a poster, you said really like to maybe possibly use that. And you can take a picture of that, and there's a little option you can click and actually translate it into text. And if it can read it, it's clear enough, it will put it into text right there on your doc, which is kind of neat. Um, the other thing that's nice also is they also have an extension called uh, Save to Keep. So if I go out to a website, and the one thing I'm going to share with you for this session is this a nice article, 10 Ways Google Keep Can Help Streamline Life at School. This is a great uh, article. It shows you different ways you can use Keep. And for our secret word for this month, let's go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and use the word Keep as a secret word for this month. But this article is really good, and I'll share it with you. Uh, one thing I've seen about two videos so far is how teachers are actually putting the comments that they use a lot to give feedback to students' work in Google Docs. They're actually putting them in the, in the Keep. And what they do is they bring that panel up, and they just copy and paste it into the comments they put into their work. So that's, I've seen a couple of videos on that. But what's nice, for example, I'm browsing the web, and it's like, hey, this, this website's really interesting. I might want to use that uh, later. What I can do is, is some people may, you know, of course, bookmark it now, maybe copy the URL and paste it into a Google Doc. If I had this Google Keep extension, I can come up here and just click on it. And what it does is it automatically adds the URL to this website, and I can put a little note. Uh, and just give myself a reminder, like, uh, uh, I may want to use this in my PD on Keep next week. So I make myself a nice little note. And what it's doing, it automatically saves it. All right. And then what it does again is it goes ahead and syncs up. So it's an easy way as I'm browsing. I just use this little uh, icon right here. And once I've added one, it makes it orange. And if I go back here and look at that, it's already synced up. And right there it is. And there's a nice little link on my note. If I click, it'll take me right out to the website. So it's a great way to add, again, uh, very easy content to your keep. And like I said, I use a lot on my phone. You can get it on Android as well as iOS. Okay, again, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, hard to believe it's already March. Uh, everyone take care. If you have any questions on the resources, uh, let me know. Take care.